How's it going, everybody? I'm back. I uh, hope everybody had a good Christmas and had a happy new year. Uh, it's 2024 now, which is really crazy to think about. And if you guys haven't seen or heard from my other videos, I don't think I've done it anywhere on YouTube, but I have done it on TikTok and I have talked about it on our social media pages, Instagram and Facebook, House Hat Bowling. I'm not hard to find. And with TikTok, House Hat Bowling. But for the year 2024, I have signed with Storm Products. That's why I'm wearing this shirt right here. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be representing them. And don't worry, we'll still be doing other stuff with other brands. Matt is still signed with Brunswick. And then we pretty much got a good handle of things. But we'll talk about that another, another time. Right now, I'm here to talk about bowling shoes. These bad boys right here. I got me a pair of the 3G racers. I have never had a pair of 3G bowling shoes. I've heard a lot of different things, but um, it was time to get me some. Being a store, they really like you to kind of use all their products that they offer. And you know what? I'm a team player, so I'll go ahead and try it. Not to mention, this would be a great video. So go ahead and start with the box. It's really just like a cardboard box, but it's one you slide open and open like traditional shoes that you buy, which I do like. Um, if I had one gripe, I wish they would have done a different color. I think it would probably would be a more appealing. But then again, I guess you're not really buying bowling shoes off the box because if you go to any pro shop, they're most likely already out. So that's more of a minuscule gripe. And personally, it don't bother me. That's just something that if I could change something with this, I would do. But I do like the box, though. I mean, it's little, you know, minuscule things that don't matter to most people, but matter to me. I like to be able to slide out feature. And the only reason why uh, I'm struggling to slide out right now because I've technically already unboxed these, just see what they look like. But I'm doing it on camera now, just for content purposes. So you open it up, <clears throat> put it inside, and here we go. We got these bad boys. I'm going to take the shoe cover off, which this does come with a shoe cover. I know, hard to believe buying bowling shoes and it actually comes with stuff. Well, these do. You get a shoe cover. You see that nice 3G leather imprint on the side. I do like it. And I don't know if you can really pick it up from what you're seeing. You kind of get like a red hue, like hint to it on this reflective part. And then the back's 3G red, which I have been critical of leather shoes like this in the past. But honestly, like if you really are dressed up to the nine and have like your bone jersey on and you like your slacks or whatever, these actually look really good. And honestly, I think they actually look better than they do in pictures. And um, she got the laces, already got the laces on. When you get them, they're not technically in the way you like they typically are. You kind of have to like uh, the bottom parts on and then like tie it in here and you basically any way you want. Like I said, nothing minuscule cool things. But we got that. And the bottoms are interchangeable. The heel and the slide, I got an H11. This is what it comes on. Could possibly change that. And let's see how easy it is these things come off. I haven't changed any of the soles yet. From what everyone told me, the old 3G heels were a pain to get off, which honestly, with it being the first time that has ever came off, it wasn't that bad. It's all Velcro, which I heard the old 3G shoes, they had like a little like a, I don't wanna say part right here, like a addition, and you kinda of had to fit in a certain place to get it on. So basically what this tells me is, it's pretty uh, universal with like other bowling uh, shoe products out there, but I'm, I know they're kind of made for 3G because of how they're shaped, but you could probably get away with other stuff too if you have others that you like the most. But the one thing that I do like from these compared to other bowling shoes I've had is for the slide, it has this little tab right here. I don't know if you can really see it. It says pull at the bottom and you just pull and comes right off. And simple as that, so you put it back on. It's not really that hard. Typically, I'm the kind of guy who don't really change these a whole lot. Typically, if I change these, it's for a newer one. I don't really like going down and up numbers, which these actually do come with a different slide sole and I got a 10 by the way uh, I didn't really didn't talk about this so this is a 10 uh, these shoes do come in various sizes and they also come in wide personally I don't have the biggest foot but I don't have the smallest foot either so typically like in most shoes I go from like 10 10 and a half depending on the brand like Nikes are typically a little smaller and compact for me at least 
So I go with tens, and then typically other shoes I go a little higher. Uh, hey dudes, for example, I go in ten because I don't got half, half size, and they're just fun. But uh, for me, this ten was perfect. If you have a wide foot or you feel like you need more room, I would probably go with the wide. But for me, the ten's perfect. And take them out of this pack. I got this slide. It's an S18 3G slide. Now, honestly, by feeling it, I don't ever see me using this. I would have to be bowling on the tackiest of surfaces known to man to use. This thing's like re legit slick just doing that. So I couldn't even imagine bowling in it. But I'm sure there's some people out there who really like to slide basically the whole entire approach. Well, there you go. And then it comes with another heel, which this is an H15. I need to look at the graph and see like if the lower numbers actually mean more or not. But to my understanding, I think this one's a bit more tackier than this one. This one's a bit more slick. <laughs> so possibly could use this one, but I don't really see myself using this one that much. And lastly but not least, it does come with a shoe bag. Now I typically carry a backpack, so I don't really see myself using it that much, but it is nice to know that I have it. And let me mention, it's kind of slick. I kind of like how it looks. These are the shoes, and another thing I did not mention is that the left, or the right shoe, because I'm right-handed bowler, is not interchangeable. These do not change. The heel does, but the slide part doesn't. So, it's, you can't, you have to make sure when you're buying these shoes, like if you're left-handed, you have to find a left-handed pair. If you're right-handed, you gotta find a right-handed pair. It is what it is, and the nice little 3G racer uh, look right there. Now, these do come in white, and I have seen more of the whites than the blacks. If you like white shoes, they are actually very slick, but I typically like black because it matches more things I got. But anyway, these are my bowling shoes. These are the 3G Racers. If you like them, please get some. And if you're in the Chattanooga area, please go to Strat Zone Pro Shop and Hickson and Chattanooga down in Brainerd if you're in the area, or if you know the area, really. And uh, meet, talk to Tony, talk to anyone who's there. You, you'll see me at the Hickson location from time to time, and we can get you a pair of these. But if not, go to wherever pro shop you go to or any online store and get them. And yeah, this is House Hat Bowling. I'll see y'all later.